portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Here we go. Come on, Bobby. Bobby Bones. Transmitting across America. Now turn it up. Now this is the Bobby Bones Show. Let's go. I never like it when I have to come on and be like, well, bad news over the weekend. And we'll start with that. Uh, Kenny Rogers died at 81 years old. That was Friday night. You know, I, I, I saw it Saturday morning. Probably like a lot of you guys. Just I think I saw it on Twitter. Amy, where'd you see it? I saw it on Instagram. I heard the news from Dolly. I follow her. And so right when I pulled it up, it was a video from her. I had gotten to know Kenny, which was really cool. And, uh, you know, it all started with an interview that we did. And we're going to play that back uh, later on in the show. And it was a half hour interview when he was scheduled to just do an eight minute interview. It was one of those that just went so well. So we're going to play that back later on this morning. But I feel like we should kind of walk down the Kenny Rogers lane for a second. Uh, by the way, if you just turn the radio on, you haven't heard, which I'm sure you have. But Kenny Rogers died Friday night. According to a statement posted by his family, Kenny was 81 years old. Listen, you probably know the gambler, lady, islands in the stream, maybe Lucille. They say he died peacefully at his home in Sandy Springs, Georgia, of natural causes at 1025 p.m. So a little history for you. Kenny Rogers had 24 number one hits, won six CMAs, three Grammys. He was born in Houston, Texas. Kenny did not grow up rich. He was raised in public housing. And he had seven brothers and sisters. So that's kind of the backstory of his life. His first gold single was when he was 20 years old with a song called That Crazy Feeling. So, and that wasn't even Kenny Rogers. That was Kenneth Rogers, who was still trying to figure out his sound because Kenny Rogers came to country a little bit later. One of his biggest hits was Lady, written by Lionel Richie. Lady, I saw an Instagram post from Lionel of him and Kenny hugging it. Mm. Hugging it out on stage, yeah. That was at number yeah. one for six weeks in 1980. Oh my gosh. Yeah, a lot. Um, you know, he had a lot of female duet partners, most notably, as you mentioned, Dolly Parton. They were paired at the suggestion of the Bee Gees' Barry Gibb who wrote, who actually wrote the song, Islands in the Stream. Islands in the stream, that is what we are. You know who the Bee Gees are, right, Amy? Yes, I do. They, ha, 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 stay in the Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He received a total of 10 awards from the ACMs. He sold 47 million records. Kenny Rogers is survived by his wife, Wanda, and his sons, Justin, Jordan, Chris, and Kenny Jr., the family is planning a private service out of concern for the coronavirus emergency. That was from a statement that they put out. A public memorial will be held at a later date. So rest in peace to Kenny Rogers. I grew up and, you know, obviously I was born in the 80s. So I mentioned a second ago that when Lady came out, that was the number one in the 1980s. So it wasn't for me like contemporarily he was an artist that was rolling alongside of me. But much like most of country music, I was raised by my grandma and it was a lot of Kenny Rogers. And I mean, is there a bigger song than you got to know when to hold them? And I say that because I think everybody can sing this. If you're 19 years old, you probably know the chorus to the song. They've, they've done movies based on this song. It was number one country. I think it's the number one pop song too. Oh, wow. So as far as songs go that create stories, I, I mean, how many songs have a movie based off of them, you know? So anyway, obviously, uh, Kenny Rogers was a massive deal in country music, even in pop music. He was a pop artist. He was like a jazz artist early on. Um, so Kenny Rogers, rest in peace. So fun getting to know him. You know, I didn't know him until way later in life, and it all started with an interview that we're going to play later on in the show. Any favorite Kenny Rogers song? You have one? Oh, probably Islands in the Stream. Or The Gambler, just because of my family, too. Those top two ones. But for my upbringing, like, my parents weren't the most, like, musical-type people. It's not like I have a bunch of influences that I got from my parents when it comes to music. But my sister and I would both tell you that... One thing we always heard them playing and we can remember is Kenny Rogers. <laughs> like, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, he, that was, country was more their vibe, but something about Kenny Rogers, especially my sister, because she's four years older than me, like she really, 
like she, this weekend on Instagram, like she was putting up sing-alongs, like her and her husband, like she was really nostalgic about it. Well, why don't we play Islands in the Stream then? We'll start okay. the show off with that. Uh, Kenny Rogers, rest in peace. Here is Islands in the Stream, Bobby.